Would you rather compete with Wayne Brady on The Amazing Race or compete with Wayne Brady I Nailed It? I would. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't understand the game. Uh, man, you know, I think The Amazing Race would probably be uh, one because it's on CBS. Uh -huh. um, but also, I, I love the, the traveling and, and the clues and all that kinds of stuff. Nailed it. Um, I don't even know what that is. Is that a cooking show? It's a cooking show on Netflix hosted by the fantastic Nicole Byer. Oh, and okay. basically, they show you what you're supposed to create. And you oh. have a certain <laughs> amount of time to create it. And it is always bad like real bad of course like of forget course the eggs is. and the cake bad so oh but it's so funny it's hilarious it sounds so. hilarious but no i'm I, so i'm very competitive uh and so is wayne i think we would both if you asked him what he'd rather do i think we'd both pick amazing race okay something i would like okay. to see on cbs yes okay. make it happen cbs yeah. new season starts october 14th on cbs <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> that's like next week all right Here's you can catch one. Let's Make a Deal at 9 a.m. with CBS. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. All right. Next one. Would you rather? Yes. Oh, be a Klingon or be a Ferengi? Klingon. Easy. Okay. Easy. Not, no hesitation. I love it. Wow. Okay. Just, uh, I mean, they have, I, I know Ferengis have a language, but you know, no one cares about the Ferengi language. You, you know, no. if you're going to learn some weird Star Trek language, you're, lear you're learning Klingon. Um, you could true. sing the Klingon operas. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Ferengis, I mean, they, they were, I mean, what they kind of created to be unlikable, wasn't that, wasn't that kind of the intent? I guess. I, I don't know. I guess like, I'm, I just like some of the actors that have played Ferengis. Oh, the actors so. are great. The actors yeah. are amazing. Armin Schwimmerman. Yes. Uh, Armin Schwimmerman. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Schwimmerman. Excuse me. Wallace Shawn, right? Wasn't, wasn't Wallace Shawn a Ferengi too? And I know well, we just was, had Lee Ehrenberg. Who played his cha his son, Quark's son, uh, brain fart but he was awesome too yeah so. okay. <laughs> but do, do you speak any klingon jonathan i don't i mean i've like read stuff in klingon and trans translated to see what it means and and so but i don't i don't i can't actively speak any unfortunately okay that's fair that's the next question no all right here we go Josh, ready? <laughs> all right uh would you rather go back in time and do improv with jerry lewis what a great picture there uh, or would you <laughs> Go back in time and do improv with one of my personal favorites, the legend, Carol Burnett. <laughs> it's funny because you you you're, you were selling Carol Burnett real hard, but you didn't have to. Uh, <laughs> Carol Burnett, obviously. Uh, Jerry Lewis. I mean, he he's he he is a complicated person. I don't quite know that it would be that fun. Where I do know yeah, it would right. be really fun with Carol Burnett. Um, just watching the, uh, gosh, her Carol Burnett show and the way they would all make each other laugh and Tim Conway and her and got to work with Tim Conway, which was awesome many years ago before he passed. And that just that whole era, it's, you know, Carol Burnett is just very yes and. You can kind of just feel it in her vibe. Like she's ready to go. She'll go with any idea. She just has that that yes andy kind of energy. And Jerry Lewis is, I mean, he, he, he was funny and I've seen him do funny stuff, but it's it's just, it's a darker place, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. It's, diff it's different. And yeah. Jerry Lewis's humor is very uh, insulated in the fact that it's Jerry Lewis. You know what I mean? And when he shares the scene with somebody, it's the same. You know, there's color and straight. It's it's either someone's playing it straight, someone's the color, and he's yep. the color, obviously, in every in every scene. So. Yeah. Yeah, but there's also like there's there's a there's a man there's like a sadness that you can see even when he's being like super big and stupid and you're just like this guy's something something's a little something sad is happening he's inside. A <laughs> Fair. He's a very All sad right. man. Carol Burnett it is. Great yeah. choice. Great choice. Good All right, choice. here's the next one. Would you rather Ooh. <laughs> have a celebrity wrestling <laughs> match against Mark Marin or spent a night in jail with Thomas Lennon? <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, I've worked with Mark and I and I've met Thomas and I can I, I these guys are both super cool. Um I think I could probably god this is a tough one. I think I could take Mark Marin um mm -hmm. while I wrestled him he he complained <laughs> the whole time as I was beating him. Uh and Thomas Lennon just just a side this is a side thing that is I apologize for the tangent but he wrote a book with uh Ben um 
Oh, what's the other guy's name? Ben, I'm spacing on it, about writing screenplays. And it's the funniest and best book about writing screenplay, how to make a billion. They, they together wrote um, Night at the Museum and all these big movies. And so this book on how to write screenplays is great and hilarious. And I can't remember the name, but look it up. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm going to spend the night in jail with Thomas Lennon. That's going to be... Yeah. Writing movies for fun and profit? Was that yes. what it was? It, it's, okay, absolutely. It's, it's comedy. It's like the way they weave the comedy into the how-to is great. I highly recommend it. Awesome. Heck yeah. Okay, good choice. Good yep. choice. I still want to see that wrestling match, but okay. A little happy. Yeah, I feel like after Mark Maron, you just leave smelling like cigarettes and sadness from the garage. <laughs> and cats. Like, <laughs> and cats. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I have to say Glow is like one of my – well, also Reno 911. I don't want to – I love that show too, but Glow, I'm so sad that it came to an end. I had tiny parts on both of those shows. Yeah. Well, hence why we picked. Oh, duh. Cause, cause oh, I'm thinking, research. what a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> hey, research. It's important. All right. Here's the next one. Josh, right. I think this one's you. Would you rather, Jonathan, go skydiving or be driven around a racetrack, be driven around in an oh. Indy car? Wow. Um... I've been driven around in a ra in an Indy car by right. Mario Andretti for a commercial. For <laughs> wow! I mean, you know, like everyone does. <laughs> we had him on the stream too, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so tell us everything. Um, you did have Mario Andretti on here. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Yeah, so it was a commercial for Honda, and uh, I don't even remember what the setup was, but the setup was a, a, a Mario Andretti wants to give a regular guy a ride around the tracks, and so we get we go down to this racetrack and some Southern California somewhere. And um, they go, okay, yeah, we're going to, you're going you're gonna to be going up to about 175 and there's a camera car in front of you. So there's a, there's a camera car with a camera on it pointed at us. Also another formula one car also going like 175. So we're about three feet away from each other going 175 miles an hour with a 75 year old man driving it. And I'm in the back seat, and it's it's insane. And I'm just like, man, one little slip up, and this <laughs> this is over. Uh, and so we finished we finished going around the track twice. And then I heard in the in the earpiece, we're like, okay, we got we got the shot, we're done. And Mario said, uh, I want to take it around again because he loves driving cars. Oh, so right. we went around the track just again because you know. How often does he get a chance to go around the track that fast? It might it doesn't happen every day for him because he's not Absolutely. doing that as a right. career. So I think someone he had an opportunity to make a commercial and do this, and he's just like, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this again because I this is what I do and I love it. And so I got to go around again with him, and he he was <sighs> really awesome, amazing what an guy, incredible. Experience. So skydiving is the answer. Okay, wow, <laughs> with Mario and Shreddy, I take it as your tandem. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, I he's think the he's instructor a... whispering in your ear. Okay, pull the parachute now. Pull Don't throw up. If you have to puke, go to the left side. I'll be fine. <laughs> wow. Oh man. Okay. That Never been skydiving. I don't know if I would want to do that. Well, that's your choice. So now you're now you must. I feel like you can mimic the same feeling of skydiving without the inherent death and risk yeah you can go to one of those i fly places and just float in the wind tunnel and get it's a broken rib i've fall. done that now is it's it not, not the same. same i mean you're flying oh. you're, it, we're flying <laughs> it hurts your back so bad because you're like does it really oh yeah i Whoa. never thought of that and i have a horrible thing when i sleep on like a mattress that's too soft i'm like the princess in the pee i'm like ah, there's a pee in my mattress <laughs> sleep such a it. diva <laughs> yeah it, it, it's painful it's painful but all right here's the next one would you rather Oh, oh, okay. So for Halloween this year, yep. we loved the names of these. Would you rather be Juice Demon? What? <laughs> creepy Husband. Creepy Husband. Or <laughs> Pubescent Frog of Silent War. Is that right? <laughs> pubescent Frog of Silent War. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> Well, let's start like the first one. What what is a juice demon, and why is beetle? beetle oh, beetle juice. I because get it. They, yep, yep. Oh boy, no, uh, no, that third one, pubre that that's insane. It's a silent. Why is it war? silent? <laughs> why is the war silent? It's oh my silent. gosh, that's yeah. I'm I'm the I'm the frog. That's it. Okay, that's easy. There, there it is. That's Josh. some Ender's Game level <laughs> political yeah. shit going on. I'm going to go with uh, 
Well, I, I'm going to go. I already am this. I'm just going to go at number two. So I'm a creepy okay. husband. I'm just. Oh, gonna is that you? That's you. That's isn't me. It? It's actually me. They just photoshopped the face out. I wear the pinstripe suit. <laughs> How dare they say that, you know, Gomez is a is a creep. No way. Well, no, but it's Uncle creepy. Uncle Fester is the creep. No, no, it's, it's creepy because it's spooky. Like, creepy. Oh, creepy. creepy. See, I think creepy is taking a new. Like, I'm reading creep like, hey, I'm going to come touch your leg. Like, I'm one of those creeps. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. That, like, like, creepy. It should have been like spooky husband me uh. yeah haunted <laughs> husband you know how about creepy that? has has some <laughs> negative me yeah, too it has some negative words now i'm not down with that i'm not down with that i'm not yeah. down with the creep the yeah creep okay show. i guess i'm the juice demon yep. you will be the juice demon just don't say juice demon three times in a row or else you know <laughs> you don't know what happens all right we got two more josh would you rather live in the world of the last video game you played Ooh. Or have your likeness used for a video game? Well, as you as Master Chief. <laughs> what? Oh, I just saw that. That's hilarious. I was like, why is Creepy Husband in the... Oh, that's me. Oh, that's... <laughs> um, man, the, the last game I played was... Uh, I played... Because I never played any of them, so I played through all three of the Hitman series. So I just oh, wow. beat okay. Hitman. Um, that's not a good world. There's there's <laughs> bad people doing bad terrible things. things. In that world. <laughs> um uh, have your like. I guess it'd be cool to have my likeness used for a video game. That'd be cool. Um, now, what what kind of game would it be? Would it be like an RPG? Like, what's the? It would be an MMO, an MMO RPG. Um, I like it because I, I like it. I liked I liked Warcraft. I'm, I'm I I've almost decided to buy the new Amazon game, but I'm just like New World. Mm. Yeah, I'm like, oh, do I want to spend hours making axes? I don't know. Yeah. Harvesting will, trees. <laughs> Have you played it? Either of you played it? I have. It? Uh, 47 right. hours in it already. But, uh, <laughs> what do you think? Is it worth it? Um, it's a great... Here's what I like about the game. I'll say what I like about it. No subscription model. Um, you don't have to pay $15 a month. It's only $40. Uh, it is a new IP with a new studio in Amazon games. So it's an exciting time to play the game. There's a lot yeah. of people playing it. Uh, the best time to play would probably be now in the next oncoming month, if you want to try it. Okay. And I think with these things, it's like time will tell, you know, the King world of Warcraft has only recently been dethroned in the MMORPG genre by like final fantasy 14. Okay. And so now we have a true third competitor rising through the ranks. Um, yeah. I've had a good time with it. Okay. Um, I've, I've had a good time. It's a great game. It is a time waster. It's a time sink. You find there's a lot of running, chopping trees, harvesting yep. lumber, harvesting yep. fibers. <laughs> <laughs> Creating, Things that you uh, can never do in the real world, you know. It's one of those games that's like, go collect two stones in one tree trunk to make this special tree trunk, which you collect with this special coal that you used a diamond and a jade to make, and then you put the jade coal and the special tree trunk together to make the axe handle of the hatchet, which you take to... It's, <laughs> there, was it's a, just, there was a guy... I forget his name, but he came up with the concept and it didn't quite work, but I like the concept of it, which was to gamify your life in the same way. So he used a lot of the game theory stuff from these games with your life so that every time you live your day, about. yeah, every time you, you live your day, you get XP and level up if you took a walk or yes. something. Yeah. Brilliant. It didn't quite work, but I think no. it, maybe it could. Huh. Like they need it. to be like an augment. Let's Pokemon Go for all of its uh, bells and whistles. Uh, really got people's butts out of the seat and got you to go walk around. Um, yep. And it's great for exercise like that. And the game has like a built-in things like you're driving. You're like, no, I'm not. It's like, yeah, you are. You're <laughs> no one. No one just rocks or runs 17 miles an hour. You're driving. <laughs> yep. it Not won't if you're give Usain you the, Bolt, you know. It won't give you the point. Unless you're Usain Bolt playing Pokemon Go. I Okay. <gasps> I, I will I submit defeat to that. <laughs> All right. One more, Jonathan. All right. Final one. Okay. Here it is. Okay. Would you rather have to sing a hoedown at the end of every day <laughs> or go through an entire audition with questions only? <laughs> oh man well you know i i actually like hoedowns ryan okay. is the one that hates them um <laughs> i like them i think they're silly and fun uh go through an audition with questions only i feel like every audition i go to i just i have questions and then but I, ne I never get to read because i've used up all my time asking questions about <laughs> about the audition i'm gonna say i'm gonna say hoedown i'm gonna say hoedown fun Fabulous. Yeah. I, I love a good, good one, but I, I also like the Irish, what is it? The drinking Irish song, drinking too. song. Yeah, big fan of that. That's a, I, I love all those little rhyming games. They're, they're, 
I love the the rap games too. The rap games are really fun. That's yeah, heck yeah.